How's it going guys? It's Tuesday, I'm Vicar Ross, and I'm here on this stump underneath a beautiful pine tree. But the real question is, was I stumped by your questions this week? If you wanna keep supporting the Stump the Vicar series, which I'm so thankful that you have been, you can submit a question to my email right there, or you can simply hit the like button and share these videos, because you never know who might have the same questions that you do. The first question comes from Mr. Anonymous, and we're talking about some sketchy people today, some maybe bad examples. His question was about Jesus's genealogy in Matthew chapter one. Why is it that Bathsheba isn't named by name, but she's called the wife of Uriah? Now, if you think back to your Old Testament history, you know that King David lusted after Bathsheba. He had slept with her and then she became pregnant. And so in the end, David has Uriah, Bathsheba's husband, killed by putting him in the front lines of battle. So why does Matthew include this in the genealogy of Jesus, the savior of the world? Well, I think partly it's because Jesus came to save scandalous sinners like King David, who slept with a married woman and murdered her husband. Jesus came to save people like that. He didn't come to condemn the world. He came to save the world through his perfect life and innocent suffering and death. And so when Matthew includes Uriah's wife, He's reminding all those Jewish people and all those people who know the story of David, that is who Jesus came to save. He came to identify with, to create a way to the Father for. The second question is kind of similar. It's how can we list so many people in the heroes of faith section of the book of Hebrews when they are so sinful, like David or Abraham, they have sketchy, sinful pasts. How can the Bible hold them up as heroes of faith? Well, God knows that on this side of heaven, there will be no perfection for us. We will be at the same time saint and sinner, and those two will be battling head to head. But God, he's not looking for perfection out of us. That is not a requirement for our salvation because Jesus was perfect in our place. God wants us to trust in him, to have faith in him above all else. And so those people, though they were sinful, they did just that. Right? Abraham left his home and his family and moved far away and became the father of many nations. David was the king after God's own heart. We too can trust in the Lord like these men did. We can trust in Jesus, our savior, the one who came to save us, to make a way to the Father for us. May God bless you this week and always. And we'll see you next week at a stump near you.